Okay, so I mentioned in one of my other videos, I don't know if it, that other one is going up before this or after, but I had mentioned that I was thinking about doing different types of reaction in addition to what I already react and review, uh, which is primarily movie trailers, but I also do, you know, movie reviews, TV show reviews and stuff like that. But I just recently discovered this guy, this comedian. If I knew about him before, I it didn't stick with me. I found out after I watched some of his stuff, specifically reactions to some of his stuff, which is about as entertaining as watching the actual original itself, just that. But um, I found out that he played in an episode of The Mandalorian. And I remember now who he was, but at the time that I saw him, I didn't really, I, I, he was just some guy in the show and I didn't really recognize him. And then I did not put two and two together when I first started watching some of his um, or reactions to some of his stand-up routines. And so I went checking him out to find out who he is because he's, he's pretty funny to me. I found him very, very hilarious. Very spot on with his commentary on different things that are that's going on in society in the world, and um, he's got he's he he's he uses some very crude foul language. So you know that's not always something that I typically you know, but it doesn't really overly offend me or anything like that. I mean it just. It just, it doesn't, but it, it might some people. So I'll just warn you that there might be some of that in this. Anyway, so this particular, <clears throat> did I even say his name? I don't think I did. Bill Burr is his name. And this particular stand-up, I've seen that some people have reacted to this, but I haven't watched it myself yet. It's just under five minutes, so it's quite a bit longer than the, the type of video that I typically watch for a reaction and review. But I'm curious to check it out. It was one of the shorter video clips that I found. So I have no idea what this is going to be about. I'm going into this completely blind. But the name of this skit is Some People Need Lotion. <laughs> no clue where this is going. But let's see. Up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! <laughs> it's understandable with them. Hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! You know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? What is this lotion you speak of, and what is the magic therein? <laughs> Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. No. <laughs> yeah. If you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, <laughs> but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate, because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go home, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. <laughs> That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I wonder on. if that's his wife he's I thought she had like about. a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. Oh. I went, wow. <laughs> I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. Oh. <laughs> She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. <laughs> I never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. Oh, God. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're oh. ashy. 
freaked me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant right the out. bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. Mm. See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. <laughs> White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in <laughs> history. Seminar. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. You know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. <laughs> you know, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Right? We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. If he just had one white friend in his entourage, dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? <laughs> you out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. <laughs> Dude, how do you how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got Must unregistered in the car. Talking. Like we're just gonna when go driving around talking. with. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so see, there you go. All right, you don't need a facelift. Okay, lay off the booze. Do some cardio. Moisturize. You're going to be fine. Okay? Don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack. It's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. <laughs> they all got a giant oil drum with a shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, <laughs> shake themselves off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening. 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 <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Um, not quite as funny as some of the stuff I saw, uh, some other skits that I saw or the skits that I saw people reacting to. Um, I think a good portion of what made it so hilarious to me, the stuff that I did watch was watching the people react to it and how, how, um, cracked up they would get. I mean, one guy laughed so hard, he just about fell right out of his chair. It was really funny. And that was a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't feel like I have any review uh, or anything to make about this particular video because it's just a skit of a comedy routine. It's not like it's a trailer. Um, a, a, he, to me, he, he's funny. He, he does tend to, you know, obviously he doesn't like I've seen some other stuff of, of, of him, other videos of him, and he is not politically correct, which I actually really like about him. And I think that's probably what makes the stuff that I saw of his, it's what makes it so funny. You know, it's good when we can laugh at things. A lot of things that comedians make jokes about, good comedians, good comedians make jokes about, there's a kernel of truth in them. Uh, obviously, yes, no, it doesn't apply to everybody. It's a given. But there's a kernel of truth in a lot of, these things that, that comedians talk about, stuff that they make fun of, whatever, which is what makes it so funny because we watch it and we know, we know there is truth to a lot of the stuff. Yes, comedians, they take this truth and they magnify it. They exacerbate it and they make it larger than life, you know, because that's part of their routine. Um, but uh, I, 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 think, I think that's, I think it's funny. I think it's good to be able to laugh at things and uh, I think he does it really well. And there's some other stuff of his that I want to check out, but I, I don't have time right now. It's, it's getting on up there. So I'm going to um, call it quits for this one. Don't know what I'll do next as far as a video. I'm kind of in the mood to get back into a trailer. There are some reviews I want to do. So I don't, I, I really don't know. There is no real clear pattern to the stuff that I um, decide to do from day to day. Um, I don't really have a lot of time right now to plan out 
I have this vague idea. I want to do reviews and I know what I want to review, but I don't typically plan when to do it. I'm coming up very soon on my one year anniversary of when I first started uploading continuously to this channel. Now, I this channel is actually older. I, I think my original creation date of this channel was November of 2018 and I uploaded one video. I, I had this idea in my head. I was going to do a blog of like trying to keep my house straight. <laughs> that didn't work out. Um, the blog or keeping my house straight because that's just a constant mess. But then I ended up doing this, what I'm doing right now. And that first upload, I believe, if I remember correctly, was July 12th of 2019. So I've been thinking about what I would like to do just, you know, for the one year anniversary. And I, I think for that, maybe what I will do is something that a person had um, suggested to me about doing um, a video of my top 10 movies, my favorite, my favorite movies. I had done, you know, my, my favorite movies of the decade. That video was freaking forever. I just talked way too long, which is typical for me. But I have not yet sat down and done a list, an actual official list of my top 10 movies. I sort of kind of know in the back of my mind what is, you know, number three to number 10. There's no question at all, question at all what number one and two is, anybody who knows me. But, um, and I don't particularly know what order the, the rest, the rest um, are in. So I think maybe that's what I'll do. And I don't know why I even brought that up, but it was just something that came to me right now. So I'm going to stop talking and sign off, you guys. Later. Later.